Today we're going to talk about clits. What to do when the clit gets sensitive. Because I think this is an issue for the woman with the clit and then anyone stimulating her clit. And absolutely. But just first of all, let's deal with the woman who owns one. <laughs> <laughs> let's start there. Start there. So the, the, the thing that I keep hearing all the time is that um, I can't stand for my boyfriend to touch me or that go you know, down on me or, or go yeah. down or any, and it, and I'm looking at because I get that also with my clients when they come to see me that they're trying to figure out how to come from some other like intercourse they'd rather get a hard fuck than a clip play because the hard fuck at least is dramatic and whether, yeah. they don't come from it but it's like and it's oh. when men are the nicest to you <laughs> well it's that you feel needed or wanted and that seems to be more important to, to many women than then getting off. That's Sorry. so sad, though. I know it is. It really is. So, you know, we have to remember that the clitoris has 8,000 nerve endings. That's a lot of nerve endings. Oh. More and, than a penis. Oh, far more. So the point is, is that if the woman is, like, in her 20s, 30s, and beyond, and she has never masturbated regularly as a child, she has not gotten her clit accustomed to contact and stimulation. So, ergo, a guy reaches down and goes diddle, diddle, diddle. Oh, and you hit the ceiling. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. It feels intense. They always say it hurts, but is it because it's intense or it, does it hurt? Because I think that that's they, a big confusion. That's a big confusion. So, when something is intense, it can be translated into that hurts. That's painful. Stop. Ow. Yeah. ow. Painful. If you don't grow up masturbating, it's going to create a problem throughout your adulthood until you catch up. I love how you always say that when you're a child and you masturbate, what you're doing is you're lighting up the neural network pathway between your brain and to your the genitals. pleasure centers. Yeah. yeah, it's a connection that needs to be developed. So could that be why when you have a hypersensitive clit or one that's not touched, they interpret that as pain because they never lit up the pleasure center? Yes, no, it's like, it's ugh, it's very intense. So an example would be, to, to deal with intensity, I'm trying to think, what can I, how can I help women deal with intensity? Then I went, oh, after you've had a hot shower, turn the shower on to cold, and then jump into it and go, ah, and when you jump, you go, ah, you have to make noise, you have to move, you, you get, you meet that sensation yes. with, with more movement and more sound. It's kind of like when you're at the gym and you have that point where you want to give up because your, your, your legs are shaking or something and you go, no, I'm going to power through this. It hurts, it's uncomfortable, but I'm going to push. So when you do that with your breathing mm -hmm. and, and, and even sound, oh, oh, oh. And I mean, that doesn't sound very sexy, but I always have my clients try to meet that intensity right before orgasm with sounding. With a grunt. Yes, just go, oh, huh, oh, huh. Because when the orgasm actually happens, they always go, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. There is that expression. Yeah. The other thing is in terms of, of uh, embracing inhibition is like you're standing on the edge of the ocean. How many times have I done this? And I want to go in, and they're all out there riding the waves. And the waves and, are crashing. And, and it's like, oh. always so much fun, and they're all having a good time. And you put your foot in, and, oh, God, it's ice cold. And so you go in, and then you pull back. And then you, oh, no, no. And then finally, you just go, ah, and you, and you, run, you throw run yourself in. in. So it's like, just do it. And that's that great ad, just, just do, do it. it. So that's a good metaphor for inhibition. You want to do it. But you're holding yourself back because you can't make that first, uh, and very much, that's very much like what it is for an orgasm. The woman will get right in front of it and just like, uh, uh, so. And then you want to stop. Power through it. Breathe through it. Go through it. Make sound. Do it, m movement. Whatever it takes, but don't stop. Everybody wants to know, how do you get past that edge? There is no edge. There is no edge. You keep going until you're on the other side, until you get your orgasm. Your clitoris is like a muscle. Think of it this way. And it needs to be toned, and it needs to be dealt with. That's right. She's doing it. And you need to just keep pushing through. Don't hurt yourself, but breathe into it. And I say the biggest benefit is to make sound to get to your orgasm. Go for it.